legend of the charts with a fan base that spans the globe, Mr. Pat Boone, on tonight's Charles Snyder Show in L.A. What's your feelings about music these days? What do you like these days? Well, I like so much of the music. Goodness, I like Nora Jones, and I like uh, Paul Simon's new record, and I like the fact that um, Rod Stewart has gone mellow on us. Yes. And that uh, the, the only thing I'm upset about is that Barry Manilow did a big album, and a, a, a big, big number one album of music in the 50s, and he couldn't find one Pat Boone song <laughs> to do in that album. A little upset about that. Uh, what's one of your fondest, fondest memories of the, I mean, my goodness, sir, the measures of success you've achieved, toured all around the world, met, met who knows how many different <laughs> celebrities, dignitaries performed for the best of them. What's a fond memory? Well, fond memory, goodness, meeting the Queen of England a couple of times and performing for her, and um, having Elvis as my warm-up act the first time we met in Cleveland. This was just before Heartbreak Hotel was released and uh, Sun Records had been sold, or, or Elvis's contract, to RCA Victor. And uh, so, you know, there's been a slogan out about Elvis uh, promoting a, a, a big album of his lately. Before anything was, Elvis did everything. Yeah. Well, what people don't remember, or know even, is that I had three rock and roll hits before Elvis. And that, that was Two Hearts, Two Kisses, Ain't That a Shame, and a song called Crazy Little Mama. And then Elvis came along, Heartbreak Hotel, and then we jockeyed up and down the, the charts, seesawed, and he knocked me out of number one, and I, my next record would knock him out. And, <laughs> and so we had a real battle royal for about five years. But of course, uh, Elvis is gone. <laughs> and I don't mean to laugh, no. but I feel good. Uh, that it's sort of like the tortoise and the hare. I'm still plugging. That is a cool anecdote. Uh, think about it like that. Uh, what's your current projects? What's coming up this year? I've got five new albums really being released in the course of my 50th year as a recording artist. A country album called Ready to Rock with a NASCAR theme, a gospel album with a tribute to Billy Graham, a love song album called Hopeless Romantic, some uh, new versions of some great old standards like In the Still of the Night and Still Waters Run Deep and uh, Too Late to Turn Back Now and great stuff. And then there's an R&B Classics album, duets with, their, with the original artist on big classics like Tears of a Clown with Smokey Robinson, Can't Help Myself with the Four Tops, Get Down Tonight with Casey and the Sunshine Band, Celebration with Cool and the Gang, Way of the World with Earth, Wind, and Fire, and Papa's got a brand new bag with the Godfather James Brown. And then there's a patriotic album called American Glory as well. So five new albums in one year. That's something nobody's ever done. That that's I know. The second to last time you were talking about that, it's a hot, hot lineup. Yeah, it is a great lineup. And, and every one of these songs and every one of the records is very much like the original, except I'm right in the middle <laughs> singing with the original artist. And they were glad to do it because they said, look, you know, we're, we're, we're peers. We're, we're a team. We came along pretty much at the same time, and you sang some of our songs, and now it's only appropriate we sing with you. It's been an honor, sir. You've got plenty of fans <laughs> lining up to talk to you tonight. Uh, yep, yep. Looks like we're going to be promoting, of course, Sha Na Na and their new album, One More Saturday Night, which happens to be on my label, the gold label. They got a great song called Cat in the PT Cruiser. There you and have I hope it. You're going to be hearing that a lot. Mr. Pat Boone on Charles Snyder Show from L.A. Ain't a shame My tears fell like rain Ain't that